Right now, just some showers out there, nothing severe, and I think that severe weather risk will ramp up later tonight between about 6 uh, p.m. and midnight. We're starting to see these uh, showers get a little heavier here, so we'll have to watch this as uh, we see these expanding down into the Gulf. We could see some uh, training and back building, meaning that uh, some of these could move over the same areas and uh, could pick up a quick couple inches of rain just with this alone if this does get heavier and sits over us, but nothing right now back to the west. Uh, most everything now is back into Texas. And as you can see, we had a severe thunderstorm morning earlier over St. Mary Parish. That is gone now, but still, I heard, uh, got a report that uh, the roadways are flooded in Franklin, all except the main highway there. And then we're going to expand the view with that tornado watch. This goes until 9 o'clock, and I think we do have uh, the main threat coming in between about 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock, and things should start winding down past that. So let me expand the view back into Texas, show you what we have going on. You can see. Uh, several severe thunderstorm warnings there and a tornado warning west of Houston. That's the actual cold front coming through. And uh, right now we don't have a lot of instability over us, so that is good news. But the problem is that instability will start increasing as we get through the evening hours. And once that cold front comes through, uh, we're going to see these storms really ramp up. Uh, some of the models don't show much with this. Others uh, do show some pretty nasty thunderstorms. Those blue dots there, those are hail reports. So these storms are producing hail and a wind damage report there. That other one, and we do have a tornado warning uh, just south of I-10 uh, west of Houston. And also, we have a tornado warning I just noticed south of Baton Rouge and to the west of New Orleans. And this is actually with uh, stable air. So it goes to show you, you can get tornado warnings with stable air, but uh, usually they're not strong tornadoes. Uh, but that instability should start coming up here soon. And once it does, the tornado threat will go up some. So we'll watch this. This line should pass through Acadiana by 11 o'clock tonight. So I think all of this is over by midnight. So if you're one of those that you hate going to bed when there's a threat of severe weather, that's not going to be the case tonight unless you go to bed at 8 or 9 o'clock. I think past midnight we're pretty good as we're not going to see a risk overnight. But right now nothing severe, just those scattered showers, maybe a few thunderstorms. And there's that severe thunderstorm warning moving out of St. Mary Parish, lower portions of St. Martin Parish. And we do have a tornado warning just north of Thibodeau there. And it looks like some of the rainfall totals here back to the west, two to three inches near Lake Charles. They had a flash flood warning out there earlier. Uh, right now, no flash flood warning issues for Acadiana. Here's the watch until 9 o'clock that goes back into eastern Texas. Here's the tornado threat index. Like I said, this starts coming up this evening in the low to moderate category. And this expands all across Acadiana by 6 o'clock. And then that will move to the east. As you can see, by midnight, the tornado risk is well east of us into the eastern parts of the state in southern Mississippi, so we're good there. Uh, but stay weather aware tonight, and they may actually extend that tornado watch a little closer to midnight once we get closer to 9 o'clock. Of course, we'll be doing hourly updates through the evening, so stay tuned for that. Back to you, Lydia.